Welcome back to this guy's new video of Tech Express. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get started with creating a professional online portfolio to showcase your work. So if you don't know where to start, you are in the right place. So I'm going to be doing this process the fastest way as I can possibly can for beginners. So first of all, let's start with a new site. If you open your web browser and go to sites.google.com, if you already have a Gmail account, this will be sending you automatically into this new section where you can just start to check out how to uh, generate, for example, your site. So as you can see that we have a few sites that we have just generated. I'm gonna just start with a new one. So you can do this with a blank site or you can do this with a template gallery. If you don't know, once again, if you're just getting started, I'm gonna be choosing the one that says template gallery into this option that says template gallery. So when I choose this element, we can choose a personal section and we have the portfolio dashboard. We also have, for example, the eBand help center template. If this is a project, if this is for a team, if this is for a small business, um, a wedding, something for education, whatever. So I'm gonna be choosing, let's say for example, the one that's accurate for ourselves, which is the portfolio. It's a little bit basic, but still, it does have the elements that we would like to use for our portfolio. So as you can see, this is how it actually appears, our element here into Google Sites. For example, here into the left section, you have like a preview of how it actually looks our website. Into the right section, we have all the elements such as the insert part. We have text boxes, images, and theme codes, drives, content blocks, which is literally uh, a little bit of blocks have already been added, collapse groups, table contents, image carousel buttons, divider spacers, and so much more. And into the upper side, we have pages, where we can see our sub pages and adding much more. And lastly, the themes. The themes, which is actually gonna be customizing uh, how it actually looks your uh, portfolio. So to get started, I'm gonna be choosing my first theme. If I clicked in here, we can choose, let's say for example, portfolio theme. And you can start by adding your own logo, adding your own banner image. If you have a logo, you can upload it right in here. Let's say for example, that this is the logo of our website. And if you have a banner image, you can upload it right in here. I believe that we don't have a banner, but I'm gonna just be uh, adding something that we do have in here. I believe something, uh, I don't know, get back. And here we have the preset colors. Let's choose this preset colors, go for next. And here is the fun of how it actually gonna be appearing when I choose, let's say for example, all my titles and headings can be from impact and all the information from my body text, for example, I choose Montserrat or Lexant, for example, I go for normal and I create my theme. Based into my theme is all the color, text, images, navigation should be applied into my website and here is now gonna be appearing in my portfolio. So if you're okay with this, then let's go back here and let's start by changing your portfolio. For example, here into this element that says your name, let's say for example, I'm gonna be typing text pressed portfolio and you have an image by default. What you can do is to click into this option and go for the three dots so you can replace the image for something totally different. For example, this one, and I hit into open and all of these elements should be applied right away. So as you can see, one of the most easiest way here into Google Sites is to start just by dragging and dropping all the elements since all this stuff has not been added by myself. I mean by itself. So if I select one element that I would like to edit, here you can see into the upper side, my mouse common has now changed. So you can see that I just moved this a little bit to the upper side and I selected and I just dragged into the center. So there we go. This is the part where I just select all of this and I decided to align all of those elements. I make this a little bit more bigger. Center. And there we go. So what I wanna be doing here is to start adding all my work. Where it says selected work, for example, it says name of presentation. And I can just select a presentation that I currently have. And I can just select and insert I can select an image, for example. I go for upload. I have a video that I can add, for example, and I can choose, for example, to express uh, Google Sites. And there we go. I select, for example, how to create a free website into Google Sites. I go for insert. And down here, I have much more um, examples. Let's say, for example, Google Sites once again. We have a few videos of ourselves how to use 
uh, Google Sites, name of the project, I select and upload more elements. So as you can see, what I'm actually doing is to add as much information as I can possibly can, speaking about myself, my portfolio, my elements, whatever. So once you have now added all of these elements, what you can do is to start customizing all of them. So let's say for example here, this is a how to create a free beta website. Let's say I'm gonna click over here. Let's say create a website on Google Sites tutorial or let's get a full tutorial and I'm gonna just put it right in here so as you can see I'm actually giving it a format now let's say YouTube thumbnails name of the presentation let's go for presentations this is for example like a really quick way of how we can add in your work it does look really really easily something else that we can do for example is to work a little bit more about here when I click into the about, you can see by default, we do have all this information that we can start by customizing it. And into the project page, for example, we can do exactly the same things. For example, here it says project page. Instead of project page, let's say that I just change this for YouTube. And this, let's say it's called Tech Express. A YouTube channel created to help people around the world and I start by adding my images my videos what I have achieved my contact information for example I needed to add the contact info so I can go here for new page let's say contact and it, it should be now added in here and there we go so this is a really basic tutorial how I can get started creating a portfolio here into uh, Google Sites. When you finish with this process, go for the option that says published and you will get a free web address, which would be sites.google.com, fast forward slash view, and whatever you chose. If you wanted to get a professional domain, it might be asking you to try Google Workspace, so this might be paid. So all of this stuff that we have just done so far is totally, totally for free. So we don't have to invest any money right in here whatsoever, and my website should be created right away. And yes, it might be taking a few moments to be appearing live directly inside the website. So as you can see, my website is now working. I have now a portfolio and we have now done this process really, really easily. So don't forget guys to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great tools of how we can get started generating this kind of videos, this kind of elements. Thank you for watching the video guys. See you next time.